it's not without a little irony that I'm talking today about me time, because, as you might be able to see, I don't actually have any. I've got two girls, they're three and one, and I work from home, and I look after them full time, so me time is something that I have not had much of, or any of, in a long time. Um, but what I am looking forward to is reclaiming some of my me time, because um, Big Sis will be joining a play group as from next week. Uh, which will actually free up a few of my hours and um, I mean no doubt those hours will be then sucked up by laundry or housework or um, writing work or something along those lines but I do like to imagine and dream and hope that I might actually get a bit of time to myself so if miracles do happen and I do manage to get some time this is what I would do with it uh, I would read I would read books that have been sitting in my drawer for three years now, there's a pile. There's a pile of about ten books because every time I see a book I want to read, I buy it. Even though I haven't read the nine others in the pile, but I just can't help myself. I just keep deluding myself that I will actually find the time to read it and of course it never comes. So I will find that time. Um, it doesn't even have to be a book, a magazine. Uh, I used to read magazine after magazine, and now I struggle to read one from cover to cover. Take a bath. That's another thing I haven't been able to do in a long time. Just take a nice bath, a nice long bath, um, shut the door, forget about the world, and just soak for an hour. Um, that's just not possible now. In fact, it's hard enough to have a shower without getting the door flung open midway through, and little people walking in, and pulling themselves up on the side of the bath and peering into the shower and splashing and, and doing whatever or yelling up the stairs, Mum, I'm hungry. So that would be nice, just a nice bath. Uh, and it's funny really because the things I used to take for granted is just normal everyday rights, human rights, and now things that just seem like such treats. The other week for the first time I was able to meet up with some girlfriends and uh, go out for a meal and it was just amazing. It felt so great to go out, go into London, and um, just sit in the coffee, while I was waiting, just sit in the coffee shop and have a coffee and watch the people go by and not have someone tugging on my arm or running up the shop or pulling a coffee over or nearly scolding themselves or trying to eat the sugar packets. So that was just lovely and such a simple pleasure, but such an immense pleasure. It just, it just felt so nice to be able to switch off from mummy mode for just a few hours and not have to think about where are they and what are they doing and what bus are they about to run under and it was it was just lovely to switch off. It was so relaxing to be able to switch off like that. Although I did feel very strange because I kept thinking, what have I forgotten? And I kept looking around thinking, this isn't right. What have I left behind? But because I hadn't left anything behind, well I had technically I'd left the children behind. I felt so naked. I felt I felt like I'd forgotten, I'd put something down and left it behind and I just kept getting that horrible start feeling when you go <gasps> and you look around and then you realise, no, you actually haven't forgotten anything. So, um, and what else would I do? Go to a movie. Just to go... You alright? You finished? Just to go to a movie again and just watch, um, just watch something in peace. To be able to go to a movie now is just like a military operation. It requires... Getting, uh, getting the other half home on time, stressing out until he gets home on time, passing them over to the kids, making sure they're bathed and, and everything before he takes over, uh, feeding them before I leave the house, leaving the house, getting up there, watching the movie. It's like, it's, I mean, it is worth it when I can manage to do it, but it's, it's certainly not the simple treat it used to be. Uh, yeah, I vaguely remember what it was like to sleep in, but um, it would be nice to reacquaint myself with that, with the lost art of the sleep in. And uh, yeah, but I mean, saying all of that, it's all very nice to think about and look forward to, and I'm sure very nice to actually do, undoubtedly. To lose my me time, to, to have the kids and the family, it's a sacrifice worth making. And with that, I'm off. What's he laughing at?